I'm gonna make asparagus shrimp today. You'll need some olive oil, honey, salt, pepper, red bell pepper, one lemon, your asparagus, your shrimp, depending on how many people you're feeding, I get two bags. So it's about 80 shrimp that I use. And then you want two tablespoons of minced garlic, one tablespoon of salt, one tablespoon of pepper, and about five tablespoons of honey. And if you like more honey, add more honey, whatever you want. Okay, then next you're gonna, let me start my fire. Okay, now I got my shrimp in here and I'm being extra lazy today so I didn't peel the shrimp. But, um, I think that sometimes it holds more of the flavor when you don't peel the shrimp. And you're going to add half of your tablespoon of black pepper. And then you'll add half of your tablespoon of salt to the shrimp right now. Yeah. And then you want to add half of your minced garlic. So one tablespoon of minced garlic to your shrimp right now. Yep. And you want to let this fry for a little while. Yep. And now you want to add one whole lemon to your shrimp. Let me get the other one. And my fire isn't high enough still. So. The pot's still warming up with all this stuff in it. And add your honey to that. Your five tablespoons of honey. You could add more or less. It's whatever you like, but that's how much I use. Then you want to remove your shrimp from your pan because you don't want to overcook them either. And a lot of the times I overcook my shrimp, but I don't care. They still taste good. So take them all out of your pan because you're going to cook your vegetables next. You could add more of whatever you want to add more flavor because I added some garlic powder to this just to make, give it a little bit more flavor and a little bit of sea salt too. So you could just tweak your recipe. Okay, and now you're just going to add your asparagus and your bell pepper to the pan and mix it up a little bit and you can add the rest of your black pepper to this your other half of your tablespoon and your other half a tablespoon of salt or I didn't add that much because I added some more um, sea salt to my shrimp and then add your other tablespoon of minced garlic. And you want to mix it around a little bit. And then you're going to cover this with the lid and let it simmer until your asparagus are as tender as you like them. I like mine like a little bit hard, so I don't leave them in there for too long, but yeah. I want everything to be coated so that you can get good flavor on everything. And then I'm going to let that simmer. And over here I have um, one cup of brown rice in my rice cooker. Alright, now that my asparagus is done, I could re-add my shrimp. And I'm not having this for dinner because I'm on a diet. Because I need to lose like 20 pounds before Joanna's Sweet 16. So I let the vegetables overcook because Ruben likes his super soft and soggy that's gross but yep there it is your shrimp and asparagus with bell peppers is ready it's super easy the rice is still going so I'm gonna let that sit and then we'll serve it once that's done 
And that's it. That's what it looks like. Brown rice and asparagus bell pepper shrimp. Ooh.